about to leave Already packing Come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no Hey, 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 what is up, guys? So right now, we are losing crap ton of money dude look at my money right now it's just going down it's because we have this 9rx with this 48 row planter the db120 dude this thing is just going insane planting and losing money right now but eventually eventually we're gonna make our money back and we're gonna make more so it's all cool it's all cool we're good so it's doing i've got it on auto steer it's gonna go around the field twice and it's gonna go back and forth look how big a pass this is, does look at that Oh, <laughs> that is insane, dude. So it's going to do two passes. It's on its first pass right now. So yeah, it, it, it's going to be a while, but it, this is going good. This is going good. We got this field plan with corn. So we have over here the 8520. Tell you what, we should jump in quick. By the way, if you're enjoying the vid, let me know. Smash that like button. Smash it. Hit it. Like it up. Do whatever you need to do. 8520. So we have one more field to disc. Field 16 up here. I got to disc it up quick. Now, what I could do is I could use the 8520T, throw the 50-foot disc on it. But I don't know if the 8520T can pull it. Like, I don't know if it has enough power to pull it. That's the only thing I'm, I don't know, kind of scared. But, I mean, we could try it. We could try to see if it works. Otherwise, we could use a land all, too. Because we, I think we have the land. We should have the land all still. So, we could use a land all, I guess. I don't know if I, I don't know what I want to do. Should I use a land all? I could, I guess. Or, I could use the magnum. And the 85. No, that wouldn't work. Okay, never mind. I was gonna use the 50 foot disc and the Magnum with the land all on it, but I was like, ah, there's no point in doing that. Maybe, man. I, I see. I don't know if it, I don't know if the 8520T can handle it. We uh, we can try it though. We can try it. I'm thinking, yeah, we can try it. Um, unfortunately, the roller basket I couldn't get to work. I'm. I, we only have one more field left to do, so I'm not gonna throw it on the back of the 50 foot disc. Um, but this guy was trying to help me out. Uh, which thank thank thankfully. Thankfully, he tried to help me out, but unfortunately, I think I think I screwed something up, but we couldn't get it. But we only have one more field, so I don't really need the roller basket on the back. Um, planter now, dude. Okay, here we go. Oh, and last episode, some guy was like, "Squad, you said Bobby, and then you said Billy. What, which, which guy is it? You know, my friend that I borrowed the planter from, the 48 row pla row planter. Yeah, his name's uh, his name. We'll go with Bobby. His name's Bobby. His name is Bobby. We're gonna stick with Bobby. Okay, my bad about switching up the names there okay we're gonna pull forward here and then i keep hitting this green car i'm thinking i keep hitting this thing for some reason there we go i wonder what has more horsepower in real life the magnum or the 8520t i i want to go with the 8520t uh especially on the disc just because it's all tracks like it seems like it should pull a little better than the magnum i don't know though we could use a land l2 land l would be a little uh I feel like 8520T on the land would be a little overkill. We'll use a 50 foot disc. I'm gonna pull up here, connect to her. I would use the 9RX, but you guys just saw the 9RX is out in the field, so we can't use the 9RX. So, here we go. We're heading out to disc that field up, and then. Oh, I guess. Why did I just put that planter away? We got some fields to plant yet, too. What we could do is I could. Okay, field 16 won't be much, but I was gonna say. Oh, you know what I'll do? So once I get done. Disking field 16. I'm just gonna have the 9RX. 9RX will be done by that time, and all the 9RX just plant that real quick. What should we plant that? Corn or beans, though? So we got corn, and, or we got beans in field 15. We might as well just plant field 16 beans, I guess, too. There we go, dude. Okay, it's time. I, I've i gone by this so many times, and I'm like, dude, one. I, I should probably move that magnum off the road. And I always say it, I always say it, and I never do it. It's been sitting on the road for like a couple videos, like literally just been sitting here so we gotta we gotta move that thing oh my logitech mouse needs a little update down below it looks like we are actually okay i don't want to speed up the time right now but we've been on this day for like the past three or four episodes i do want to speed up the time but if i do it'll cost me a lot because technically the worker i have hired out in the field will be working like even though it's only like 30 minutes in real time they could be working for like a day in farming similar time if I speed up the time real quick and it would cost me a lot of money so I do not want to do that so we're gonna put the roller away because I think we're done with this man this is gonna be tough back in or we could 
There are a couple more fields I could roll. So, okay, for now, I'll put it out. Actually, yeah, I'm just going to back the Magnum and the Roller up just over here. This is kind of where I put my implements. I'm not really using too much. But, like, I'm still going to use in the next couple of days. So, I'm going to back up over here. We'll see if I can back it in. Come on. Oh, hey, it's turning. There we go. Okay, now just yank this bad boy over. Dude, we won't even be able to see the roller eventually, guys. <laughs> It'll just be sitting right here. Whatever. There we go. Okay. Oh, you know what? We why, what, what am I doing? We can leave her. We can leave her connected. Okay. <laughs> this is kind of weird. I just back it into a bush, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. Now we got to jump in the 8520T and get disc in. Now, dude, will the 8520T be able to pull it too? Also, grain prices haven't changed since I haven't really changed the clock much. Oh. That's what we, oh, oh, that's sweet. That is so cool. John Deere 9R series is slipping. I wonder if it's trying to make a turn or something. Oh, okay, yeah, you're definitely slipping over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> we gotta stop this thing. Yeah, it's def, oh, that's kind of cool how it tells you that. We're gonna stop the driver. We're gonna back up out of here. So try to make its turn right here, it looks like. So now, what way is it trying to go? I think it's trying to go. I gotta look. I gotta look at uh, course play to see what it was trying to do here. So if we're over on this edge of the field, okay, it was meant to. What is this? So it looks like on the second lap, it went, it cut and went over here. What way is this thing supposed to go, man? Oh man, I don't. I have no idea what it's trying to do here. Is it trying to go this way? I think it's trying to go this way. No, but it already planted this. What did it already plant? This is super weird now. I'm so confused. So if I go out here, what's it planning? Man, okay, so you guys see the map up there. I'm trying to figure out what way this is trying to plant. Don't want down there. I think it's trying to plant back this way. I'm pretty sure it is. So, for some reason, I have a feeling it's trying to plant back this way. So I'm going to whip all the way around here and get it set up to its... Are we planting right now? I think we're... Yeah, we're planting right now. I didn't even... Okay, I should probably get it off plan, but whatever. So I'm going to swing all the way around here and line this up with auto steer. And it should be ready to roll. We just go right here. Back up a little bit. There we go. I think it has to go down this red line still. You guys see the red line down the map? I'm pretty sure... It has to work down this red line and then start working back and forth. For some reason, I think it's going to, like, overlap this. Okay. Ah, no. I don't know what it's trying to do. Okay, I'm going to Okay, I'm gonna see what it tries to do here. I'm, I'm really curious now. Please don't just go flying in the ditch or anything. Dude, please. It can't make the turn even. Here. Me. Oh. No. What are we doing? What are we doing? Okay, you're doing good. Oh, okay. Maybe it is trying to line up or something. I'm curious to see what it's going to do here. Okay, it is trying to make the turn. Okay, it looks like it is going to line up there. Sweet. Oh, nope, nope. What do you, what, okay, what are we doing? What do we... Oh, is it? Is it trying to line up with this? Oh. Oh, that's what it's trying to do. It's trying to line up with this. Okay. Okay, there we go. So it's working now. Ah, is it working? What is it trying to line up with? I think it's working. Unless it's just going randomly across the field. No, it's working. It's working. Sweet. So it, it, it's, it hasn't done its second pass here. Oh, that makes sense. I should have just looked out here and saw, saw it didn't do a second, second pass yet. Okay, sweet. That makes sense. So we got it. It's back in action. Sweet. That's how kind of course play and auto steer works. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to learn along with you guys. Uh, it's a little it's a little challenging sometimes, especially when it screws up like that. So where was I? 8520T. That's cool though how it tells me like John Deere's slipping. Okay, we do have to go sell wool. That's what we gotta do today. Load up some wool. Time to sail, baby. Um, okay. We are gonna once that gets done planning, I'm gonna run speed up the time probably. Try to sell some grain too. So right now we got to go back over here, 8520T. I'm so surprised I jumped into that because I was just randomly choosing around. There we go. 8520, baby. Get this boy going down the road, man. You know what? It's, it's probably going to pull the 50-foot the disc just because it's farming similar. But in real life, 
Dude, I bet you'd be slipping so much, or you'd have to like raise the disc up and just barely lightly go over the ground. A 50 foot disc, dude. This thing requires a lot of horsepower. <laughs> I don't know, man. Oh, it, it should be good enough for now. A 9RT, I f feel like, would be the perfect tractor. This, I call it an 8RT. I don't know if you can call it an 8RT. I think it's the model before an 8RT. It's technically not an 8RT, so the 8520 t I don't know. It's just, it's probably a little small. It's a teeny, teeny bit small, but... I mean, you can, it's still doable, I guess. Like, I could, I mean, you could technically pull a disc with your truck, you know, if you lightly went over the ground and just barely turned the dirt on the ground. If you really want to think about it that way, you know? Pull it with a four, okay. Pull it with a four-wheeler? Now, I don't know if you could pull this with a four-wheeler. Um, even going down the road, I feel like it'd be really tough for the four-wheeler to pull it, but, but yeah. But you guys, you guys get what I mean, hopefully. So, there is field 16. Oh, we missed a little spot. Oh, wait. I was going to say, yeah, we missed a little spot planting over there. Missed a couple spots. Well, I guess we're going to see that in Harvest. It, it, it's okay. There's little spots like that. That auto steer doesn't do the best job, and it's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to get. So here's what we got to disc up the cornfield over here. We're going to pull in through here. Or actually, you know what? I think it was, I'm pretty sure it was a wheat field, guys. Yeah, I think it was a wheat field over here. We'll pull in here. Swing wild, brothers. Oh, we're tipping. We're tipping. No, no. Oh, look at that recorrection. Oh, man. We were definitely going over there. Don't you guys think? I thought for sure we were going over there, and I just turned with it. If you turn with it, it'll fall back. You can recorrect it. So, we should be able to jump in the field over here. I'm going to start unfolding as we get into the field. Here we go. You probably shouldn't do it until you get all the way into the field. Whatever, though. There we go. Come on. Get in here before we start disking up the ditch through there. Oh, okay. Here we go, dude. The 8520T pulling the disc. I don't know. I don't know. We'll try her, though. She's lowered. Okay, now it's time to go. We'll see what happens. Oh, yeah. See, it has no, it has no problem. It's farming similar. It has, no, it has no problem. Like, Little Blue? Dude, we have not used Little Blue in forever. Now that I think of it, Little Blue has not been used in so long because we use it always for pigs right man we have not used that thing in forever oh my gosh now that i think about it wow that has been so long since we've used the little blue i think it's just sat in the shed forever the only time i i used it was when i had to like just move something with it or just even pull out like gravity wagons or something like that wow wow it has been forever since we've used little blue now that i think of it okay dude this this tills really fast with a 50 foot disc we can get her done I like using, watch this, I like using the 8520T better than the 9RX on this disc because 9RX is all like shaky whenever you turn, it, it moves the camera and stuff. And look at this, I can literally just whip around here. Look how quick, look at that turning. It may be super unrealistic kind of, but it's a zero turn tractor, man. Like you can just spin around here so good. I love it. There we go. 8520T. This is a perfect tractor for this. I mean, it's obviously underpowered, but it does a good job. <laughs> Dude, we need, oh, if I got the roller basket down here, for some reason, my disc was having problems. I wonder if it would work. I wonder if I did get the right version. Man, I'd love to bring that roller basket down there and actually get it to work. I don't know. I don't think it'll work. I, I'm. We don't even have the roller basket. That's true. Yeah, we don't even have the roller basket, but it's fine for now. It would be sweet to have it pulling behind. It's fine for now. Dude, disking with this, the view, it's got like a wide view right now. And it looks just sweet. There's everything going with it. We also got to check on how is our tractor doing over here. It's doing good. Sweet. 9R seems to be going good over here. I'm just going to tab to it to see what it's all up to. Sweet. So there you go. You can see the course it's on. It's going to go back there. Sweet, dude. This thing is huge, man. Okay. I already talked about it a ton last video, so I'm not going to talk about it too much. We need to jump in the 8520T. Oh, did we shut her off? I think we did. There we go. Disc is still down, so we can still get discing. Sweet. There we go. We are rolling, dude. Okay, so I think I'm only going to do one lap around this field. This lap, this field is tiny. And it should work if I only do one lap around. So that's what we're going to be doing. Only one lap. Okay, I'm going to pull all the way here. Pull in the ditch just a barely. Just barely. Just a little tad. And lift her up. And then whip around here quick. Oh, dude, look at this turning. Like, it's great. Dude, the 8520T, man. This thing turns so good. 
There we go. And then what way should I go, though? Field 16, what's going to be the best way, boys? I could go up and down like this. This may be one of the best ways. I think we're going to go up and down like this. Seems to work good. Perfect. And I think, I, dude, I may actually do this field myself. Like, I don't do many fields myself. I mean, like, I always hire out a worker. Or... I just like skip it like I'll, I'll do it and then not show it in the film just because it takes forever or not show it in the video because it takes forever but this I, I feel like I could talk to you guys we can get the, maybe not it, can, it it will dude okay it seems like it'd be a lot smarter for me to go the okay hold on let me look at this so we could go up and down or we could go up and down seems good good enough it, either way either way would work I feel like we're gonna go up and down here there we go. It would be good if we had the Magnum out here with the land all too, I guess. That would be kind of cool if we did get that. So right now this disc, it's not a plow. It's a, uh, it's just right, like, it's just doing cultivating. It's, it's technically not a plow. So if I did every three harvests, you have to plow up the field. Otherwise, you'll you drop like a 20% yield if you don't every three harvests. So this, we'd have to come in with a, like a rip or something since this only cultivates. We need some type of plow yet still. Which the land all is technically a plow, by the way. There we go. Lift this bad boy up. Drop her down again. And get going. Yeah, we can, we can get this done pretty quick. This will work good. Especially when we, we, when we can do 12 mile an hour. Can I see? Does anybody see? Uh, oh, wait. There it is. The 9RX. There it is. I was looking for the 9RX. There you go. She's just going across the field. So we, we're actually doing field work. Like, usually I'm... Like, this is a really... We're actually getting a lot of field work done. I'm, I'm happy with this video. I'm happy with the work we're getting done. Okay, so how much does the 9RX have left to do? It still has... Oh, boy. Course play. I could do course... Oh, I could have done course play on this. If I really wanted to. But I kind of want to... It's, it's fun to operate yourself without auto steer. When I say auto steer, it's literally just course play. I just like calling it something that we all know. You know, auto steer. So, that's that's what I call it. I call course play auto steer most of the time. Beating hearts don't lie An empty page, a story to write I'm in love, you're divine And it's all in our signs We're going away Get your back, check the tag Decision is made Lock your door, need no more It's already Okay, we're just finishing up the last pass here. Just gonna drop her down here. Okay, the 9RX is done. Close to being done, I think. It's got... Oh, man, I'd love to... I think it might be done. Maybe it has one more pass. It could have one more pass there. Or it's done. We'll see, I guess. I'm trying to look and see what it has. Does it... Has it done everything over there? Looks like up there on the hill, it looks like it hasn't played in some spots yet. But man, it is almost done. So we are, or I'm going to have it come over here and plant this field quick since we just got this all dissed up. Which maybe it's even better to just go grab the planter and bring the planter back here instead of bringing the 9RX. Because that might be too big a planter for this field almost, is what I'm, is what I'm kind of worried about. I don't know though. I mean, it's here, so I might as well just use it, I guess. But oh, man, that's a big planter, dude. <laughs> Okay, sweet. We're going to take this out, big old boy back. And then, well, first of all, what I want to do is I want to go sell wool. I really want to go sell some wool. You guys see that right track down there? How it's just, I've seen that before, do it before, but it just like glitches in and out and stuff. So we're going to go take, I'm not sure how much wool there is yet, but wool prices are insanely good right now. So there's no reason not to go sell wool. We're going to go take the Duramax and we need some type of trailer to go sell this wool. Oh, dude, we need something to unload the wool too. Shoot. Um... Too bad the little blue didn't have a loader on it. Man, I wish we had a loader for a little blue. Uh, so I could use, I could load up the 7810, or I could load up, I think what I'll do is I'll load up the International on the trailer. Literally when we go and do it, so we can unload the wool too, is what I'm going to have to do. So hopefully we got a, I think we got the 40 foot trailer, which has a lock load script. It should work. Is that the only trailer we have? I'm trying to, okay, I got I to gotta think about the trailers we have right now, because, yeah, we're going to need a over deck, like 40 foot trailer at least. Here, let me throw a cruise, cruise control on right because right now my mouse wasn't working too good. There we go. Now it's perfect. So, yeah, we'll take the Duramax this time. By the way, this, the F-350, the squad farms, or, yeah, the old F-350 we had, it's, I kind of just took it out for just a little bit just because we were having problems with the mods. And so I think somebody was trying to get on and they couldn't get this F-350. 
They took it out. So that's why you haven't probably been seeing it around the map too much. I know there's a good reason for taking it out, but I just haven't put it back in yet. So that's why we don't have it. Man, we've been losing a lot of money. I think this video, we started off with like 19 or 20. That was in dollars. And now we're down to 16,000. Oh my gosh. You know what I could sell if I really need money is I could probably sell. We still have a lot of grain in there. In the, in the pig storage system that I need to get out. That I haven't gotten out for a while. So yeah, we could use that 40 foot trailer. That's probably what I'll use. So, what we're going to do is for now, disc will just be going up here with the 8520T. We'll just roll it up here quick. Just park it. There we go. Sweet. Okay, we're going to leave that right there. The Magnum's parked over there. And then the high country, the high country, the dually, man. And the toughest workout this thing's had is pulling that planter. You guys saw how much that thing squatted? That planter must have weighed a ton, too. So we're going to pull down here, 40-foot trailer, hook up to this. And we're, we'll also load the 886 up on the trailer because we need it to unload. And too bad I didn't have a skid loader. Skid loader would have been perfect to unload this, but we don't have a skid loader right now. So we're going to have to load up the big old 8086 on the trailer too. There we go. The high country, dude. Oh, it's finished work. Sweet. 9RX is finished work. You know what? I'm going to go. I don't know if this is going to work or what. How this is going to work out. But I'm going to go run auto steer on the 9RX on the next field. It's done. So uh, once it completely folds up, it'll be good. And done. Okay, I'm going to stop the driver quick. We are going to head over to this field and create a new course. Okay, I'm just going to... Okay, we got the 9RX, boys. I'm just going to go right through the field. Maybe it would be easier just playing it myself, but I want to try using auto steer on this field too. That way I don't have to do anything. Okay, so I want to create a new course on field edge path 16. There we go. Starting location. We are on the... I guess southeast side of the field. Southeast, would that make sense? And then uh, we go west. Yeah, that would make sense. Two headlands. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do he two headlands. So create course. There we go. I'm going to look at the map, see where we start. Okay, no, dude, I don't know about this. This is really messed up. This is going to be like, look, it goes across the road and stuff. Okay, that's going to be really screwed up. So. I won't actually use course play on this. I'm going to do this one myself, I think. Because, yeah, that's that's going to be really screwed up. So, for now, planner's going to sit there. Nine RX must not get dirty. Yeah, that, the planner's just too big for this field. So, this is too big. I'm just going to drive it myself. But we're going to go back to the high country real quick and start grabbing that tractor and the wool. Dude, what if... So, right now, the wool's beeping at me. I probably shouldn't be talking right now. I should probably be working, driving, getting on the road. Right now, the wool's beeping at me, or not beeping at me, but saying, telling me there's an insanely high price. 19,021. Watch it just go down right when I get there. It just goes down to like 16 or 15,000 right at 1 o'clock. Man, I'd be so mad if that happened, but I'd, I'd probably still sell the wool. Just because we're loaded up all the way. You know, one thing I forgot is we still have to plant field 27. That's the one field we still have yet to plant because it came with this farm and there's no way I'm not playing that field. So I gotta, I'll gotta, i probably bring the DB60 over here. It's not too big a field. So yeah, DB60 will do just fine on this field. We'll plant that. Maybe I'll bring the Magnum and plant with that. Or we could use 8520T, of course, uh, to plant too. Where did I put my wool? I'm trying to think. Where did this wool go? So, okay, for right now, I'm going to put the, the... Actually, I'm going to back it up a little more so it's like square. But I think all my wool went in... Okay, that's probably tough on the truck but it's fine it should be fine um my wool is in here okay we have two pallets full and do we have any over here though we may have a little over here i'm, I'm gonna yank this out and sell this stuff over here still too so we do have how much wool is that probably not much at all but i will still yank that wool out to see what's all gonna to just get as much wool as possible so yeah we're gonna get this thing loaded up the 886 is gonna go with us so that we can unload actually and we gotta hook up to the pallets that's right and I should probably do chores. How am I, how am I sheep doing? Uh, we can, yeah, we, no, they're actually good. They're actually good. Sweet. We're going to pull up here. Drop the bucket off quick. You guys have seen me do this so much, so many times. Just unload. Uh, there we go. And pallets. Oh, 
There we go. Okay, see, sometimes it gets screwed up and like it'll stay down on the ground even though I'm attached. It's, it's super weird, but that time we got it working good. So, first things first, go grab this one and then we'll go grab the other two over there. My best way is going through this gate right here. Oh, there we go. Now the gate's open. We'll go through her and then pick up these pallets in here. Dude, we got a lot of sheep too. Oh yeah, how many? We have 49 sheep right now. We only started with like, I think we only had like 44 sheep. Oh man, we almost had a sheep. I think we only had 44 sheep and we made 5 sheep. We've had some uh, baby, babies, some lambs. We've had some lambs come in recently. Okay, how am I going to get this out? If I pull around here, I should be able to get this out. Um, Can we go? Ah, let me just... This is going to be a little weird. Hopefully it doesn't tip too bad. There we go. Okay, slowly, slowly. Uh, you know what? Can we pull through there? It seems like a better idea. Just to go straight through there. Okay, now I'm, I'm pinned. I literally can't move right now. So it looks like we're going to just be backing out. There we go. And now we'll pull through the gate over here. Lower it in a little bit. There we go. Okay, we got to shut the gate so the other sheep can't get out. There we go. She's shut. Jump in the 86. And then I'll just put this on the trailer right up here. Everything should work smoothly. Hopefully this isn't too much for the D-Max. There we go. And drop her down. Sweet. Okay, that worked good. Now, just two more. Two more of those. We still have a ton of hay, dude. Look how much hay we have. Also, my chickens over there. Like, most of my chickens have died, by the way. Just wanted to, just wanted to tell you guys. And then, we, yeah, we, look at all that hay we still have. So, we should be good all, whole, like, all summer, all winter. Man, we should be good. Okay, so, I'm going to pull in here. Attached to this one. Oh, come on, baby. Get in there. There we go. We got her. Oh, we were kind of stuck for a little bit. Now, back out. Back out of the 86. And then throw it on the trailer again. Yeah, we should be able to... We should be able to put this 86 on there, I'm thinking. Okay, these are going to be, like, organized. Kind of weird. They're not going to be placed the same way. But it's it's fine. There we go. Okay, and one more. And then I should be able to... Man, I better be able to throw straps over these things. Otherwise, these things are going to go flying off the side. We should be able to, though. I'm going to drop her down here. Pick her up. There we go. Sweet. And then back her up. There we go. And then just set it right up on the trailer. Just real nice. And then strap them down. Come on. So, oh, man. We're pushing that other one. Oh, now i got to re-kind of organize that one. There we go. Okay, it should be good. Okay, straps do work. Oh, there we go. Sweet. Oh, one more. Okay, sweet. We got that all strapped down. Now I need to lower the ramps. I'm going to actually pull the truck straight. That way it doesn't like... Nothing happens weird on this loading. And then we'll unfold the ramps. Do we have lock load? Ooh, we don't have lock load, which means I'm going to have to go slow since the tractor won't be locked down. But it's fine. We should be good. So, pull the tractor up on here. All the weight is going to be on the tractor, dude. This tractor weighs so much. There we go. Pull it up on there. Come on. Keep turning. Okay, we're having issues. I'm going to back off for a sec. There we go. Now we can line up straight. Now we'll pull her on here. There we go. Um, How much weight do we want over? I'm thinking that should be good right, right about there. Right about there should be good. Oh, dude. You know what? Oh, man. Okay, Logitech needs to be updated again. I wonder if I could put... Did that lock... Oh, okay, no. Let's not do that. Here, let me move this off of here. But... Or actually, okay. Will this lock down the forks? I was wondering if this would work. It doesn't. Okay, yeah. I was I was like, oh, dude, that'd be sweet if we could kind of, like, strap down the forks. Because the tractor won't be strapped down at all. Which means I'm going to have to go real slow. But it's fine. There we go. Tractor's on here. Hopefully it doesn't go slipping off or anything like that. This is kind of a lot of weight. <laughs> oh, man. We should be good, though. I could probably back it up if it's too much. <laughs> there we go, dude. She is loaded down. We are selling the wool, boys. Sweet. Okay. Oh, man. This is this is kind of heavy on Duramax, boys. This is a good workout for the Duramax. Hold on. We'll pull around here. There we go. Don't run over a chicken. There we go. There's Rocky, too. Okay, we... Uh, Please, Rocky, don't run from the truck. There we go. He's going around there. Sweet. We are, dude, we are ready to rock and roll here. This is sweet. Okay, so it looks like the spinnery's all the way in Wisconsin. That's going to be a long road trip. 
So, dude, I gotta go slow, especially when we have this tractor on the back, too. And we're going down these steep hills. I'm kind of taking a different route, a route that, like, I rarely take. I've showed you guys it a couple times. Just gotta be careful. Look at that sign, even. Trucks with heavy loads. Gotta be careful going down this. We're gonna have to throw on that exhaust brake and just slowly roll down here, even though I'm, like, just literally going ham on the gas right now. But this get, this might get a little sketchy, especially, uh, dude, I should have stri I wish there was a way to strap down the tractor a little better, because I don't think it's locked down too good. You know what, this trailer, dude, it's a perfect trailer. I don't know why. I always use the Mudbone trailer, and the Mudbone trailer was humongous. It was a big trailer. Like, it made this Duramax just look tiny. So, thank God I'm actually using, like, a like a good trailer this time. There we go. Okay, so it looks like our, well, I guess this isn't too bad of a curve up here, but I got to slow it down once I hit the curve. There we go. I'm actually, like, speeding up as we go. There we go. Slower down. And we're basically down to the bottom. It wasn't even that steep. They said it was going to be a lot steeper. It wasn't too bad even. There we go. But this is a lot of weight. Like, how much... I wonder how much this 886 actually weighs. Like, does it weigh 20, 25,000 pounds? Would that make sense? Probably less? I don't know. I'm curious to see how much it weighs. Uh, okay, so we're going to take a right right here. We just need to get over to Wisconsin. We're going to have to go across that big bridge all the way down there. Speed limit's 45. Dude, there's no way Steer Max is getting above 45. Okay, maybe. Maybe we will. There we go. We're above 45. McGregor, Iowa. City of McGregor, Iowa. I get to look up McGregor, Iowa. Uh, obviously, it's right on the Mississippi. And see, I'd like to see, like, a Google images of this town to see if it's, like, exactly the same. I'll probably recognize things, on, things that I've seen in this map before, too. Okay, tractor is still hanging on. Dude, it hasn't even moved. Like, this is a good trailer. It, it may, like, hold stuff down real good. On this trailer. Like look, I'm 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 turning kinda quick. Like obviously if I did something crazy, I think it would I think it would just go flying off, but it still does pretty good job right now. Now we're gonna take a left, and this should be the road we gotta take. Sween Wad Brothers. Okay, let's not take out the sign here. There we go. Sweet, okay, we actually made the turn and we didn't hit a curb, we didn't take out a sign, we didn't do anything wrong there. And now we're going across the Mississippi. Dude, this is Nice little venture. Look at that plane flying in the sky. It was making like a couple turns earlier. There we go. This is ah, this map is like this is just a legendary map. Like it's gonna be something people play if they only have FF17. This is gonna be the map. Like for example, me. I got the map like a year ago, just about, and I'm or not a year ago. Like ah, coming up on a year ago, I guess. And I'm still playing it today. Like this is a great map, dude. This guy spent so much time on this map. Um, shoot. I think we went the wrong way. Oh, man. Okay, so the tractor did slide up a ways there. I'm going to actually jump in it quick. Back up the tractor. Because, <laughs> yeah, right when I hit the brakes there, it did go sliding a little bit. There we go. That way it stays. Should stay a little better. Okay, so we... Oh, you're probably wondering, squad, why are you flying right now? Yes, I have this, like, mod on. That I forgot to disable. That That's how I get my thumbnails and stuff, so I can fly real high in the air. Okay. Oh, so it's right up here. Maybe I was going the right way. I'm trying to think, where where is this place at? Where would you sell this stuff at? Maybe I take this road and take a left. So yeah, we're going to get on the highway this time. Okay, nobody coming. Sweet. Must just be right up here. Is it to the left right here? No, we're going to pass it. Are we going to pass it? No, we're not. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking I take a left right here. Yeah, if I take a left right here, we should be good. Dude, this was never here. I feel like this stuff was never here. Or I've never been over here. This is sweet. These little towns and stuff. What the heck? I don't remember this all being here at all. Okay, we are here somewhat. Is it to the right? Oh, it's... Is it back there? Oh, it's to the right, just right here. Okay, I missed it. It's right here. But where does it sell at? I think it... Is it back here? Yeah, it must be back here. It's right along back here. This is where we sell the wool at, I guess. Right? Hold on, I gotta, I gotta go down there so I can actually see. Okay. There we go. Now. Okay, hold... Oh my gosh, dude. Okay. Hold on, one thing. I gotta do one thing real quick. Why is this all... Okay, anyways. Dude, is this where I sell the wool? I think it is, unless it's this building. Okay, guys, right now I'm flying. I, I'm sorry. It's, like, really weird, probably. Just see me flying. 
This must be where we sell the wool, unless this is something completely different. Spinnery. Visit. Okay, now I'm inside the place. Somewhat inside the place. So, I'm thinking we just... Man, I gotta get into my truck now, but I'm thinking we just drop it off right here. Which, maybe I can even... Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna unload back over here, and this should work. We gotta unstrap everything. Man, this flying thing is annoying. I apologize about it. Uh, oh, oh, what was I trying to do? There we go. I was trying to grab it. There we go. There we go. Oh, I got to unfold the ramps. That's right. There we go. And now, jump in the International. Start unloading this stuff. I think I just drive it right through that door over there. I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going to be doing. So we'll back up. And then grab it. I wonder how much money we're going to get, too. This will be sweet. So, th this could be a lot of money to be... Oh, I didn't even think about it. This could be a lot of money. This could be a lot of money. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come down here. There we go. We got this buddy on here now. Okay. Sweet. I think we just drive it right through here. Will it sell? It's sold. It's sold. It's selling right now. Sweet. It is selling right now. Oh, dude. Look at it. Oh, my gosh, dude. $35,000, but the price probably just went down a lot. Let's see. Let's check. It didn't. It didn't move yet. So let's quick, quick, quick. Sell everything quick before the price like moves. Sweet. We got $35,000. We'll get another like $35,000 and then we'll get like half of $35,000 up here or even less than half. There we go. Sell this bad boy real quick. Oh, sweet. Okay. We'll pull in here. Oh. There we go. It's selling, though. We're good. We got it right here. Sweet, dude. We are actually getting a lot of money from all this wool. See, sheep, man. They actually made money. Like, pigs, I never made any money. I spent so much on them. Sheep, I barely had to do anything. And look at this. Now they're making a lot of money. Okay. We're going to pull in here and grab this little guy off of here. And then sell this. We'll be over $100,000. Oh, maybe not, actually. Now that I think of it. We'll be close to 100000 Oh, I was too high there. There we go. Now we'll, now we'll grab her. Pull down. And then just put this in this shed quick. And then, or not the shed, but the shop. Oh, oh shoot. Where'd he go? I just looked back and I was like, what? He's gone. Okay, what I'm going to do here is it's going to be a little weird, but just grab it here and just pick her up quick. Don't turn too fast either, squad. Come on. There we go. Oh, okay. We're over $100,000. Sweet. We got 15000 from that. Okay. Perfect, dude. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Okay, so we sold all of our wool and now oh nice. That's perfect. There we go. We got I don't know how much total. Probably like eighty, ninety thousand dollars. Eighty, eighty thousand total or something. That was perfect. That was nice. Anyways guys, this is gonna be end of episode number eighty two. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. It was kind of a long episode. But if you did enjoy that, let me know by smashing that like button. Hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, brothers.